So, you created your own YouTube channel? Congratulations! So did over 31 million others. But I'm here to tell you, you can be a YouTuber. You see, back in 2013, just like many of you, I wanted to start my own YouTube channel because I liked YouTubers like Niga Higa. I wanted to be like Niga Higa. I wanted to be Niga Higa. So, my sister and I decided to create our own YouTube channels. But hold up, this was an undercover mission. We didn't want just anyone we knew to know, you know? No family, no friends, no bros, no foes. After hours of deciding on a name for my YouTube channel, I finally decided on the name, Rack and Rim Films. Rack for my initials, and rim because I like basketball. Films because, uh, well, my sister really wanted me to include it, that's all. Now, it was time to create my first ever YouTube video. I filmed it, edited it, and uploaded it. Now, we wait. I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Long story short, I continued uploading videos almost every week for several months with similar results. While my sister on the other hand was having much better results. Not amazing, but just much better results. I mean, to be honest, when you have videos like the I touch scratch and I don't make New Year's resolutions but Google Plus should it's pretty easy to see why for comparison we were like Steph Curry and Seth Curry Pokemon and Digimon Lucky Charms and Marshmallow Magic what's Marshmallow Magic? exactly and to make matters worse some of my cousins and friends started to discover my channel through my sisters of course. Even my parents secretly found our channels. This undercover mission was going all wrong. So I decided it was the right time to take drastic measures in my own hands. I went door to door virtually advertising my channel. You mean spamming? No. Yes. Here's how I did it. I searched for other channels who posted similar videos and messaged them to check out my channel and to consider subscribing if they enjoyed. And it worked! I managed to get more views, comments, and subscribers fast. I even made it to 100 subscribers. Now let's check out my awesome comments from my fans. Hilarious and freaking awesome. Good work. Keep it up, man. Hashtag keep on filming. Rack and Rim, you're good at those. LOL, you're a cool guy. You made me smile. I left you like and keep growing. Your channel, we're both trying to make it in the big leagues. Hey, I saw your message, and I think you make really great content. Sorry for not getting back to you earlier. You deserve to have 100 subscribers. Hey man, your videos are good, but you need to work on the background of your vids. And you need to speak more clearly. I expect more videos. I subbed. OMG, do a smoothie challenge please, I'll be your best friend. Haha, <laughs> that wad, funny. Please, sub to me. I sub to you, but you never sub to me. WTF. Dude, you totally copied the iPod human. The iPod human is only $7.99.99. I wanted to be Niga Higa. I don't know who you are. Good luck. We didn't sub to a but nice videos. 
I don't like school, but this is... GAY! I know, just ignore trolls and keyboard warriors, right? Well, you're absolutely correct. You shouldn't pay attention to them, but when that was the only comment on my video, with no likes besides my own, and multiple dislikes, it was really hard. Being consistent with YouTube wasn't easy. And YouTube seemed to be all about posting quantity over quality content. I watched as my 100 subscribers fell back under 90. People who once supported my channel stopped watching. My friends said my channel was getting boring. Even my sister scolded me for the reducing quality of my content. But even back then, I wanted to put my heart into every single one of my videos and when I saw my channel flooding in the haterade, I just couldn't do it anymore. Delete, 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 delete. And that was the end of Rack and Rem Films. Trying to gain views and subscribers fast while being a little 13 year old kid only brought a bunch of little trolls to raid my channel and destroy it from the ground up. I know, I could have just simply privated all my videos, but at the time, I didn't want any possible trace of it. No chance of anyone finding it. No chance of someone hacking into my account. I wanted no memories of it. But I'm here to tell you that you shouldn't delete your old videos because it's good to look back at your progress and you worked hard on it at the time, whether or not people respected it. But then, when all hope was lost, I remembered something. This one time my sister and I collaborated on a video, and I asked her if she still had her version of it. Delete, 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 delete.